time to come up. Here we go. All right, job, our job club agenda today, obviously, uh, is about our main speakers, but we also include success stories. We share some active job leads. Uh, we give some partner updates as well as telling you what is next time at job club. Our mission is to provide a positive environment for job seekers to network and learn best practices for their job search. We meet the second and fourth Tuesday of each month, and you can find a schedule of topics at www.ukalumni.net slash job club. I want you to meet our job club facilitators. This is the team that brings you job club uh, each and every session bi-monthly. I'm Diana Doggett. I'm an extension specialist with the UK College of Agriculture, Food and Environment in Cooperative Extension. Caroline Francis is our Director of the Alumni Career Services with the UK Alumni Association. Amanda, Amanda Shagney is the Associate Director of Alumni Career Services. And then we have Nicole Waite, and Nicole is the Employment Specialist at UK Steps Temporary Employment. Job Club is currently hosted in a hybrid format. That means that we're here personally at the Fayette County Cooperative Extension Office. We have a live audience here. In addition, we have those of you online that have registered to Zoom webinar. And we do have a chat moderator that is available. And thirdly, we have those of you that are joining on Facebook Live. Now that is view only. We have no chat moderator or job lead newsletter uh, because of there is no registration. I want to remind you to give us a shout out where you are viewing from. Um, we love we love to know the locations, and uh, so you can take that time right now just to get familiar with the chat box and toggle to everyone so that we can all see. And uh, we will we will be really really uh, interested and uh, excited to know where you are viewing from. We want to also remind you to review our free job club resource packet, and that's online. Uh, it has an array of information, uh, everything from informational interview tips. We can have a resume review checklist. I mean, it's just, the list is long and it's worth your while. So check that out on our website at www.ukalumni.net slash job club. Also reminding you to join the Central Kentucky Job Club sharing community on LinkedIn. I can't emphasize that we do that in each and every session, the importance of being on LinkedIn, um, having yourself out there for networking, for job, job um, possibilities. So we want you to uh, join us because we do provide additional information, job leads that come to us perhaps uh, after this session, and we won't have time to tell you uh, within the two weeks. So it's worth your while to check that out, uh, not only for additional um, resource information, but job leads. Employers and recruiters are always welcome at Job Club, and we give those in-person employer guests a one-minute spotlight to share active job leads with the group later in the program. So if you are online, we would just want you to raise your hand and we will provide that opportunity as well. Watch your email later today for job leads that have been sent to our job club team. We want to also point out that some attendees are conducting a confidential job search. So let's please be respectful of their privacy and um, also check out again, those job search related articles that we include in the, e in the uh, re um, reminder emails that will come later on this afternoon. And then just before you ask, because we always get this question is, recordings are available and they're on our website. We have 
a lot of information there. We have, uh, you, you name the topic uh, related to job search, you're going to find it there and it's going to be uh, very, very relevant. So check that out if you're looking in for anything in particular. Well, we wanna welcome our first timers. And um, do we have, it? we do have some in the audience. I, I, I recognize that. So if you're a first timer, just raise your hand. Okay, we do have um, some, some new timers that are with us in person. If you are uh, joining us for the first time online, would you also let us know that? So we could just reach out and give you a warm welcome. Um, you will receive a follow-up survey later today. Now this is very short. It's four questions, five questions, um, but it does place you in our notification system for future programs. It's real important that you get into our system so that you can be notified of each and every session and any additional information that we want to, to give you. So be sure to complete that now. You can scan the QR code and, and, get, and do that as well. Success stories. Success means multiple things to us at Job Club. And it could obviously mean that you are in the progress of finding your, your job, meaning that you've updated your resume. You may have reached out, expanded your network. You could also have uh, secured an interview. So anyone in our audience in that status right now that you have a success story that you would like to, to let us know about? The ultimate success obviously is attaining that job. And we normally always have one of those to announce. So we don't today, we have some of the works, but we're not ready to quite announce those yet. What about online? Do we have anyone online? Well, go ahead, please, please do share. Um, one of the reasons that we love to share success is that it's so motivating, encouraging to others to know where people are in the process and, and how that process leads to successes in many ways. So sure hey, Diana, yeah. we had uh, Jane online, had a good interview. So that's a, that's a success story. Hey, wonderful, wonderful. Well, keep those keep those successes in mind uh, as you join us at Job Club, is because again, it just reinforces all of us to know that uh, this is this is helping and uh, leading to hopefully that that job that that will fulfill you uh, the most. All right. So now we're ready for our session. This is a panel today. We, 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 we really love doing our panels because we love those different perspectives. And uh, this one is unique. We thought about wh why not share statewide agencies that have a regional, state, regional, and even a local presence uh, throughout Kentucky since our audience is throughout Kentucky now. So you can see on your screen, we have four different organizations. Um, state agencies that are going to be sharing today, what they're all about, and in addition, giving you some advice on, on their perspective of the job search. So we're gonna begin with Todd Blayton, and he's with the Kentucky Career Center, the Bluegrass uh, Services. And uh, Todd, we are just so pleased you're here. You're gonna kick us off and uh, welcome to Job Club. Great, well, thanks for having me. So glad to be here. Uh, my name is Todd Blanton. I'm the one-stop operator for the Kentucky Career Centers here in the Bluegrass. Um, you may know the Kentucky Career Center. They are a statewide network of partners that assist people um, basically with getting back to employment. I represent the 17 counties that surround uh, Fayette County and Lexington. So the services that I'm going to talk about that we do here may not be the same if you're in another area of the state, but these services exist all across the state in some way, shape, or form. Um, so as you can see on your screen there, just a couple little general slides that we put together, but I'm going to give you some information and kind of talk about what we do here in the bluegrass. So career planning and job search, 
this is our most basic services. These are just um, individuals coming in. Maybe they've relocated, just looking for a new career. Um, our case managers can work with you. We do have uh, great relationships with employers all throughout the region, and they're always reaching out to us to find employees. So this is our basic services, just working on resumes, interviewing, that type of thing. Um, our employability workshops, two days a week on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. and Wednesdays at 2 p.m. through our website, we offer uh, different workshops, resumes, job searching, interview skills. So always a workshop going on on a Tuesday or Wednesday through our website. Our transitional employment program is a program that we work with individuals that have either been recently released from incarceration, the, they're in recovery, they have some significant barriers to employment, and we work with employers to place them into internships to help get them back on their feet, get their feet in the door of a, an employer and get some work experience um, in hopes that that leads them to full-time uh, suitable employment for them. So that's another one of our big things that we've been doing here the last couple of years. Occupational skills uh, training. So here in the Bluegrass, we recognize six high demand sectors. And through those sectors, we put people into short term training, two years or less that typically end in a certificate. And in the Bluegrass, those six high demand sectors that we recognize are healthcare, IT, transportation, distribution and logistics, advanced manufacturing, construction, and childcare and early education. So trainings are available through those six high demand sectors. A lot of training providers out there that we partner with, but we do work with uh, you know individuals that are looking to maybe change careers or looking to get some additional skills uh, to further their current career. So the next one we have on our screen is work-based learning. So these are internships. Like I said, we do partner with a lot of employers in our 17 county area, and we offer internships to individuals. Those last up to 480 hours, they pay the prevailing wage on the job. And again, it's a way for us to just kind of subsidize employment and help get people back into the workforce. And then along with all these programs, we do offer some supportive services. So those could be if you needed a uniform, if you needed uh, still toe boots, um, textbooks, childcare, anything like that. Um, that's kind of what the supportive services are there for. Typically, the Kentucky Career Centers are, are are, are known and associated most often with unemployment services, but 95% of what we do is related to reemployment services. Um, you're gonna hear a little bit later on in the presentation from our partners at the Office for Voc Rehab, uh, but the three main partners that make up the Kentucky Career Center are the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, the Office for Vocational Rehabilitation, and the Career Development Office. So basically, you know, anything reemployment related, you can reach out to your local Kentucky Career Center here in the Bluegrass, we have four locations, Lexington, Georgetown, Danville, and Richmond. Um, if you're not in the Bluegrass area, you can access the uh, KCC's main website, which is kcc.ky.gov, and find an office nearest to you. I will put our uh, Bluegrass website here in the chat box when I get finished up here in just a minute, so you can access that. But just know that these uh, are services that are available for all Kentuckians, and we're happy to provide them to you. And that takes care of it for me. Thanks, Todd. Sorry about your timer. I answered a question in the chat and it paused it, but you did great. Appreciate you very much. No okay, problem. next up is Jonathan Farr with the Office of Vocational Rehabilitation. Take the floor. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thank y'all for having me. Uh, like I said, my name is Jonathan Carr. I'm a counselor with the Kentucky Office of Vocational Rehabilitation. Um, I work out of our Lexington office. Uh, we have two offices here in Lexington. One office is on uh, Waller and the other is on Leestown Road. And so let's talk about the purpose of voc rehab. Um, the purpose of vocational rehabilitation is to assist Kentuckians with disabilities to obtain or maintain employment. Uh, voc rehab is an eligibility program. So in order to be considered eligible for our services, the individual has to have a physical impairment, mental health diagnosis, learning impairment, or um, a sensory diagnosis as well, um, including hearing or, or vision impairment. Um, income is not a factor when working with vocational rehabilitation. However, there are some services that are um, based on income. For example, we have some individuals that come to our services that want to go to college, things like that, and uh, those are based on income. And so people will sometimes ask, what, what services does vocational rehabilitation provide? Uh, we provide guidance and counseling, uh, job placement assistance, uh, 
college and tuition assistance. And two other key components is competitive job placement and supported employment. Um, support employment is a service that we provide that provides um, a little more comprehensive services. Those are for individuals that have more significant disabilities. Um, competitive employment, what we call employment and retention, those are going to be some of our individuals that um, have been in the workforce, maybe have been out for maybe just a, a short period of time, maybe six months, and um, just maybe need some resume preparation, brushing up on interview skills, um, things of that nature. Just a couple of other key points I just want to talk about. We are in uh, all 120 counties. If um, we, if there's not an office in your county, uh, there is a counselor that will come to that county where you're housed, or they can provide those um, intake meetings virtually as well. Um, as Todd stated, we are also affiliated with the Kentucky Career Center as well. Um, you know, so we definitely will be able to provide those services in your county. Uh, that that's kind of what I have really more so about our agency. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Appreciate you. If you have sure. questions for Jonathan, feel free to pop them in the chat. We'll do Q&A after we get through the panel. Next up is Lori Davis with the Lexington Public Library. Please take the floor. Good morning, everybody. I'm Lori Davis, Lexington Public Library library here in Lexington, Kentucky, where we were established in 1795. We are the oldest library west of the Alleghenies. We serve over 325,000 patrons or customers, and we have one central library with five branch locations, and we also have a virtual library that is available to everyone 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I just wanted to go over a few of our career and job resources. But first, I wanted to let you know overall, the Lexington Public Library is reading is just the beginning. We are a community engaged in a lifetime of discovery from our littlest patrons, the babies, all through our oldest individuals. We make sure that we have programming available that's attractive for all of our customers. And also we have a mission of connecting people, inspiring ideas and transforming lives. And the transforming lives is really the focus today. I'm workforce development manager. So as you can imagine, I'm engaged with careers and entrepreneurship services here at the Lexington Public Library. And I thought I would tell you a few of the services that we have. We have a book, a librarian service, which is an opportunity for patrons to come into our library to have a 45 minute one-on-one -on -one conversation with our librarians on a number of services, but for today's purposes, it is an opportunity for patrons to come in and have us talk to you about your resume, help you complete an application. If you need some job search assistance, we're happy to do that. If there are areas that you feel as though you need to hone before or during your job search, we're happy to share with you our databases, which I'll talk about in just a moment. And we're also happy to help you with any of our physical resources. Yes, we still have books. And so we have books and we have other resources that will help you on your job search. Speaking of books, we have specific career focused books and magazines that are available for you to either check out or you can take a look at online using our Flipster app, utilizing the various magazines that are focused towards careers or entrepreneurship. Those are completely complimentary with your library card. And I can tell you how to get one of those as well. And even if you're not in the Lexington, Kentucky area, your library, wherever you are, most likely has similar resources. And if you need any assistance with that, I'm happy to reach out to you to help connect you to your local library if you're not local to Lexington. 
we also focus online training for careers utilizing our Grow With Google partnership. We are a Grow With Google partner and have been for about a year now. And through that partnership, we provide Grow With Google career and entrepreneurship focused trainings every Wednesday. Usually we roll out a new training on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. Sometimes we adjust those. Generally, we have an English and we also have a Spanish presentation. And tomorrow is Wednesday. So we will have a presentation. I believe the presentation tomorrow is in Spanish, but you can go to our website, www.lexpublib.com dot org it's on the screen and you can go to the calendar of events and identify which programming is good for you you do not need to be a lexington public library patron to view those we also do replays on youtube at lex library so if you are unable to catch us on Wednesdays at 11 Eastern, you can always check our YouTube channel. Drop-in job services. Some of our branch locations have designated times so that members of the public can come in and speak to one of our librarians or other library staff to answer those specific questions that you might have in the job search, how to upskill or reskill, in different areas, think about a new area that you might wish to transition into. Our librarians are happy to help you during those designated times. There is no fee associated with this service. Um, we also recognize that there is a need to connect employers with job seekers. And so we offer quality quarterly job fairs here at the Lexington Public Library. Our next will be April 6th, and we also focus on those high demand and high need areas. It is important to us that our patrons know that focusing on those high demand, high wage careers are the best way to make sure that your families are in the best economic position and that also uplifts our communities totally. And our quarterly job fairs include an on-site component as well as a drop-in component where you can pick up a take-home job fair tote. It would be filled with employer openings that are available in that particular sector on April 6th. The sector base will be transportation, logistics, and distribution. And so you can expect employers to be on site that day, as well as you can pick up the job fair tote and take a look at your convenience at those positions that might be of interest. In addition, we provide adult education services, including English for speakers of other language classes. We have conversation groups, and we also partner to have citizenship preparation so that if you are indeed looking to become a US citizen, we help you with all of the processes as well as to help you study for the actual test. Online databases are very important to us. And we have a variety that we think are beneficial if you are in the job search market. We have brain fuse, we have business source, those where you can research different employers across the nation. We also have candid learning in the event you're interested in working with a nonprofit organization. And we also have a learning express library whether you're honing your current skills, whether you're hoping to transition into another category of employment, we have information that is very targeted to you and that too is free with your Lexington Public Library card. For those of you who wish to work on your language development, we also have the Mango 
database, and that will help you identify and become a very good speaker of another language. And we have a variety of languages that you two can choose from. And whatever your interest might be, check that out. Um, our April 6th job fair will be at the North Side location in Lexington. It will be from 10 to 2 p.m. Also, because the library offers computers and copiers, faxes, scanners, et cetera, it is the perfect place for one to come and do their job searching, do their job preparation, and any other research you'd like on those particular employers. And while you're there, complete your application, have your resume reviewed by one of our library staff, and then as you feel appropriate, go ahead and apply for those positions. So while we're not the one-stop operator, sorry, Todd, we are a place where you can do most of your one-stop as it relates to employment. So if you have any questions, I am happy to answer those. We also partner with the Lexington government, the Lexington Urban County government here on their clean slate expungement clinic and job fair, which will be held in April. I believe the date is Friday, April 28th, 2023 at the Central Bank Arena, which is where Rupp Arena is housed. And that is an opportunity for job seekers to come, whether you have any justice involvement in your past or not. It is a place for employers who are open to accepting those who may have had some justice involvement in the past. And we also have a component that will enable those who have had justice involvement to actually have a conversation with attorneys. And we're partnering with Goodwill Industries, who you'll hear from soon, on that program. It is an opportunity to find out what one would need to do for expungement and hopefully to get connected with one of the attorneys from legal aid here in Lexington. So again, if you have any questions, try www.lexpublib.org to take a look and or ask any questions that you may have in the chat. Thank you very much. Thanks, Lori. Appreciate it. Okay, next up is Jennifer Bergman. Welcome to the stage. Click to your slide here. All right, the floor is yours. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me for the, the presentation today. My name is Jennifer Bergman. I'm the Regional Director of Career Services for Goodwill Industries of Kentucky for the Lexington region. And I'll tell you a little bit more about what our service area is in a moment. I just want to start off by mentioning um, this is our 100th year anniversary, our centennial anniversary at Goodwill Industries of Kentucky. And it's a very exciting time to be at Goodwill for myself and our other um, staff. So I just want to mention, uh, we by the end of the year, we will have opened 11 opportunity centers throughout the state. Goodwill does operate in 103 of 120 counties in Kentucky and uh, many Goodwill throughout the nation. They're just smaller uh, footprint, but we are very happy to be able to serve the, the area that we do in Kentucky and partner with everyone on here. Um, I'm excited to say um, we love our partners. That's a big part of what we do at Goodwill. Um, and I wanna tell you a little bit more about what we do and our results and the things that we're doing in 2023 at the Lexington Opportunity Center on 130 West New Circle Road and also the Moorhead Opportunity Center, and that's in Pinecrest Plaza in Moorhead. So that just uh, opened up. Both of these had grand openings last year. So we're very excited to be able to open up completely with our new branding and all the things we're doing at Goodwill for career services. Um, I just wanna mention uh, some of the results we had in 2022, and they're very exciting to be able to share with you. We had served, uh, 10,000 people with all of the service and career services. This does not, I'm going to talk about um, our stores in a moment too, but this is our career services, which is our mission of Goodwill. 
and 2,700 job placements, 1,500 expungement support, and 67 retail stores is what we're operating now. We have a, an outlet store in Louisville as well, so 1,200 partners. So our footprint is um, it's very large throughout the state, as I mentioned, and our mission, I just want to make sure everyone knows what our mission is. Our mission is to help people with disabilities or other challenges achieve and maintain employment to gain a better quality of life and to give people a hand up and not a hand out. That's just so important. Um, we want to make them feel welcome to what we do uh, so they can experience the dignity and an independence that comes from earning a paycheck and achieving self-sufficiency. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. We do much more than that, but that does give you a, a good idea of what we're trying to do at Goodwill. And uh, anyone, you could think of it this way. Um, we, we partner with the uh, Kentucky Career Center and Todd and his staff there and um, the Workforce Innovation Board, Amy Glasscock and her staff. But the thing about it is we are trying to reach those who might need to have assistance with the job way more so than what maybe even they would need at the Career Center. So anyone that needs that extra help, we want them to come to Goodwill and we certainly want to help them get a full-time job with benefits, working toward an even better job and self-sufficiency. So I want to go into our services a little bit. Um, again, I, I, my office is at the Lexington Opportunity Center in 130 West New Circle Road. We're at Suite 110 right next to the store on New Circle Road. And I want to mention um, Goodwill is known for their donations to the stores. So there is a story behind those stores. And that is our Goodwill mission of career services. So um, a lot of people don't know about that. They know about the donations. They know they want to donate to Goodwill. Goodwill takes those donations and we sell them and we even recycle them. Um, there's so many um, pounds and pa millions of pounds diverted to um, places where they're not going to go to landfill. So we're also helping the environment. There's so much with Goodwill. And if you want to know more, I'm going to share in the chat box in a moment uh, what our website is. So you can go and learn more about what Goodwill's doing all over the state. But I want to talk about our services for 2023 in the Opportunity Centers. And um, we're going to start with a new piece that we're offering this year, and that's our orientation. So we're going to do that every Tuesday and every Thursday. They don't have to come twice, just one time to find out what we do at Goodwill, everything about our services. And so they're going to get an orientation and a tour, and they're going to find out about our services and where they would want to go next. And by saying that, we have 2, 3.30 is the time frame on that. By saying that, at the end of that orientation, they're going to do a little bit of a, a intake process to find out more about them. And also, we have what's called a self-sufficiency matrix. And that's something that takes a look at 10 different areas that would have barriers to employment. So we can find out exactly what they need when they are, are meeting with our career coach. So at the end of that hour and a half or less, they're going to get their own career coach. And that coach will help them go through the process to complete an action plan, determine a career pathway for them. And they're going to walk hand in hand to try to find out what that individual is all about, what they need, what they need next. And we also have um, a tract they will be able to select on that pathway. We have several areas of training that we offer. The first one is Soft Skills Academy, and that is um, a class that is offered on a regular schedule about every three weeks right now because that is the entryway. Everyone does not have to take that. So if someone has more advanced skills or a pretty good work history, this is a lot about life skills, attitude, communication, conflict resolution, dependability, safety, and self-presentation. Those are the things that are taught in Soft Skills Academy 101, which is new this year. And we have a six hour class provided with lunch to get started if someone needs that level of training. We also have the Good Start program, and that is something we've done in the past, and we've changed it a little bit for this year, starting in January of 2023. And that includes um, separate standalone classes, and that is one to one and a half hours each, so someone can actually register for those individually. They can take all seven of them. 
things um, included like ethics, customer service, stress and anger management, decision making, motivation, organizational skills, and self advocacy. So those are maybe kind of a mid level of, of classes that someone can take if they're trying to brush up or be a better employee. And because we know that employers, they're looking for ways to uh, bring employees in that know how to be a good worker. And uh, those are employability skills and uh, very valuable if someone's going back into the workplace after having a disadvantage um, recovery. Uh, coming from a reentry from a judicial involved situation, they may be unhoused, um, un unsheltered. We, pr we provide services to veterans. So these are the population of individuals that we're trying to reach out to and help individuals that don't have a good education. And um, those are all important things. Our next program that I want to mention is one that we're most known for, I believe, and that's the RISE program. It's a two week program. And it does, it's a personal and professional boot camp, if you want to think of it like that, because it's not just about being a good employee and getting ready for employment. And we are looking for full time employment with benefits when we help someone go for that job. Um, but it does have a lot of other things involved, and that would be digital literacy. We're providing some a starting a platform to prepare for that. We have all kinds of things about looking at their past, present, and future, looking at goal setting looking toward that career pathway to make sure they have some assistance to figure that out and move forward. And we do some exciting things like uh, we have a retail store right next door at the New Circle location. And that would include a tour of the back. I mean, most people know what a retail store looks like, right? However, how many people have been into the back of the Goodwill store to see how that operates and how that works? So we're excited to be able to give them a job shadowing and see what it looks like to work in a Goodwill store because we want to offer that employment to them if that's where they would like to work and try to get a job at Goodwill where we offer so much additional support, including coaching and other wonderful programs if you're a Goodwill employee. So other things we are doing, um, we're going to do some assessments in this RISE program. We're also going to um, create a resume. Uh, upload that to the Indeed platform and provide job search assistance to help them figure out what they want to do and look for on the website there to um, prepare for the next step. We're going to provide uh, mock interviews, tough interview questions, and actual interviews with employers on day nine. So that will be on site and many people will leave the, the uh, RISE program after two weeks with a job. And uh, graduation is a special day that we have every two weeks. Uh, at the end of that 10th day, that is the day we celebrate with a graduation. They get to present um, some of their uh, uh, thoughts and actions uh, in their planning and how they want to move forward. And if they've had a chance to obtain a job, then they can share that and we celebrate with them too. We provide Lunch for Rise program every day for two weeks because they're there all day from 10 until 3.30. Um, the other thing I want to mention is digital literacy pathway. And um, if someone has the lower level of uh, digital literacy skills, we have something called absolute basics of computers that we're offering now starting yesterday. And uh, we're going to be offering that on a regular basis. And that's for people who need additional skills with uh, computer literacy. But if they can test on the North Star uh, assessment at 85% or higher, they can start into our applied digital skills class. And they can actually uh, complete that. It's a self-paced program. They can get a free uh, Chromebook at the end of that. So that's something we feel very strongly about and we're supporting. So very exciting to have the digital literacy because we know how important that is to employers to have good computer skills on the job. And this is a good start for those that may not have that. Um, I want to mention uh, career coaches. That's a very important part of what we do because our coach will walk hand in hand. We're not going to prescribe something to someone. We're going to work with them to determine, you know, what it is they're wanting to do, look at their action plan and work forward to move them to self-sufficiency. And if they need additional training, we can help with that. And we rely on our partners 
for much of the training, but I will say this, it's very exciting to work for Goodwill where we have this year over $19 million of revenue from our stores that are going into uh, investing in career services for people across the state of Kentucky. Very exciting to be able to say that. And we are not just relying on grants. Um, I've worked at other um, areas similar to Todd's in the Eastern Kentucky area where we relied on the Department of Labor funding for the most part. But in Goodwill, we're very excited to be able to have a little more flexibility for wraparound services. And many times, you know, we might be able to provide something that a, another uh, who is, you know, relying on a grant funding, we will be able to make a little more flexible decision to help someone. So that's very exciting that we have that money. We're also working on a SNAP ENT um, program to help provide opportunities at our Opportunity Center. It's kind of redundant there, but um, that means that if someone is on the SNAP program and the waiver has been taken uh, in the past during the pandemic, they had that program on a waiver for people to receive benefits. Well, that waiver has been lifted. So anyone wanting to maintain their SNAP benefits, they need to enroll in an opportunity that has been approved. And um, we are we are able to provide that opportunity for training and um things with our all programs that, that I just mentioned, those are approved. And so we can help someone to be able to enroll in an opportunity to receive their benefits with their 80 hours a week, 80 hours a month uh, in that. So we're excited to be able to participate with that. We also want to talk about our Ignite program. And that's for 18 to 24 year olds in the Lexington Center only. We have that in Louisville also, where we have some huge programs for uh, young adults. But this is in the Lexington uh, Center, and that's for justice involved and um, maybe 10% for those without a high school diploma. But we want to help the young adults that need our services in the Lexington area through this program. And we're doing some really good things there too. I want to talk about. Um, our special programming, I'm just going to mention a few. We do have expungement clinics that we do on a regular basis. We'll either do them in our opportunity centers or, as Lori mentioned, with our partnership that we have for the, the Clean Slate, a very special expungement clinic this year. It is, as she said, a, a job, a job um, fair and a community fair, so we'll have many different resources. A lot of the employers will be interviewing on site and possibly hiring on site. So that's April 28th and we're very excited to partner with um, the mayor's office and LFUCG. Um, Kentucky Career Center is also a big partner for us with that. And uh, the Lexington Public Library and there are many others, of course, um, all of the legal partners, we have Apple Red and the uh, Legal Aid of the Bluegrass are the two and Department of uh, Corrections. That's a really big thing because we have to have background checks. So that's exciting. We have them on a regular basis, but this is gonna be a big one. I'm expecting over 500 people to come through, possibly a lot more. So it's gonna be um, very exciting and please come to that event if you can. Uh, Cars to Work program and Last Mile to Work program. That tries to help address the transportation barrier that many people have in, in the population that we're serving. So um, those are two programs and we'll certainly have more about that on our website. Um, we have many different things to offer if someone wants to go to work for Goodwill and that's their employment they're looking to go. We're starting at 11.50 an hour for all jobs across the state. And that is the starting point. It can move on up to an assistant store manager or a store manager when they make uh, fifty to eighty thousand dollars a year. So it's it's very exciting to be able to move someone on up the ladder if they choose to stay at Goodwill, because you will have your own coach. Our coaches do a warm handoff when they go to work for the store, and they will be able to. Um, provide many other services. Our Good Smiles program, we help up to $5,000 in dentistry for people who need help with a, um, repairing their smile. And we also have um, uh, tuition re reimbursement for anyone wanting to get a degree or a credential. And uh, that can include short-term or longer-term type of studies. So it's very exciting in our work and learn program there as well. And that means someone has a 30 hour a week uh, job with benefits, we'll pay them additional 10 hours to go to training. And that's not even counting the training cost, 
that just counts the cost uh, of giving them the additional 10 hours to help with their expenses. So those are some really exciting things about Goodwill. Um, I feel like we are a, a too too much of a good kept well we're we're a, we're too much of a kept secret across the state and we're trying to get the word out through our opportunity centers that we have so much more to offer than what we do in the stores that people know about at goodwill so uh, the website is goodwillky.org and i will type that in as soon as i, I finish up here and make sure you go and look at the website to see the many different things that we have to offer in uh, throughout the state. So thank you all very much. Thanks, Jennifer. Appreciate you. Okay, I'm last up on the panel talking about alumni career services. Happy to talk briefly about ours. Alumni Career Services with the University of Kentucky is open for life and active members of the Alumni Association. Anyone can join the Alumni Association as a life or active member, even if you didn't go to UK. Um, membership fees, uh, $75 to any, don any fund of your choice. So it could be Dance Blue, uh, Cancer Research, Alumni Career Services Fund, any, anything that you want. If you're giving, getting athletics tickets, your booster required donations are included in that too. If you're a recent graduate, the required donation is $25. All of those are tax uh, deductible as well. It, as an, a life or active member, it includes two sessions with a certified career counselor, CCC. Everyone on our team is a certified career counselor with the National Career Development Association. And topics for individual work include resume writing, job search strategies, mock interviews, interview strategy, salary negotiation, job offer evaluation, career wellness checkups. So if you're working on your performance review or just need to chat strategy about career, um, we can do that. For career changers, we do offer a variety of career assessments and we're credentialed in those. Strong interest inventory, Myers-Briggs type indicator can be really helpful if you're thinking about a career change. Um, Caroline also offers and certif is certified in retirement career coaching, non-financial. So it's not about money. It's more about wellness and holistic well-being in retirement. Uh, we do offer many free programs. Of course, we're on the job club facilitation team with extension and UK HR steps. Um, but we offer other free programming to the community and alumni um, throughout the year, including Leadership Week. Leadership Week's getting ready to have its third year. It's a virtual online conference with leadership themes um, last week of April. So check ukalumni.net forward slash leadership week for more details on that one. Schedule should be coming out soon. Uh, throughout the year, we also offer timely webinars on trending topics, networking programs throughout the year for different populations. Um, so definitely check us out online, ukalumni.net forward slash career for more information. For the employers that are on the call, um, we do offer free support for careers job seekers. We're happy to promote um, your job leads with our active job seekers. If we have a career client that's a good fit and we have permission from the client, we'll do a referral to you when we can. Um, and that certainly helps uh, those those to be more competitive. So we're happy to do that matchmaking whenever we're able to. Uh, but I think that's it for Alumni Career Services. At this point, I think we're ready to go ahead and shift into Q&A. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start the panel. Watch the chat box. If you have a question for a specific um, for panelist, please put that in your comment in the chat. If it's more general, leave it general. That's fine. But now I'd like to invite our panelists to go camera on. Um, what advice do you have for active job seekers that are on the call? What advice do you have for them? And Jennifer, I see you're unmuted. You go first. Oh, yes. Um, I just want to say, I started to say this in my introduction. I thought I'll just save it for the Q&A. Um, I, I've actually utilized the UK Job Club. Uh, when I returned to Central Kentucky, after being in Eastern Kentucky for many years, I was born here, raised here early years, and went to Eastern Kentucky about 30 years. And so I came back in 2019, and I had just retired, but I thought, I'm just not going to, this is not for me. I've got to do something. i got to get back in here. So um, I went, to, I was, I'm an alumni of UK. I just want to say that it was a great experience and I value everything that I had to um, bring to the table from my past to share with others. But more importantly, what that networking and opportunity was able to bring to me you know, to learn from other people, listen to what they were going through, 
and sharing about their experiences and, you know, job leads. That's a big part of that too. So networking is huge. It is absolutely huge. And um, I value, I mean, I've known uh, Caroline Francis for many, many years. She actually provided training to our staff at uh, Eastern Kentucky SIP where I worked in in Hazard uh, serving 23 counties. But um, and I've met Amanda quite some time ago as well and just love all the folks at the at the job club. So I will just say networking, providing um, uh, something on LinkedIn is so important and keeping your profile updated and making sure you have a good presence there and take an opportunity to network there on LinkedIn as well as in person with every type of um, uh, great group out there that matches in with your interests and your needs. And also I would always advise you to target your resume to an employer and that includes your cover letter, making sure you do thank you notes and um, working toward interviewing as often as possible because that will sharpen your skills and be able to um, put you on your best foot forward when you actually have the very best opportunity that you really want to get. So those are some things I would uh, also say to research the employers very carefully and thoroughly and be prepared for the for that uh, uh, interview when you have the opportunity to do that. Thank you. I'll Thank jump you. in real quick, Amanda. Uh, just kind of mon watching the chat box here. Um, like Randall had a question, any employment for senior citizens or employment programs? Um, I'll touch on that uh, quickly and then I'll probably get Jennifer to jump in also. But there is a program that um, is operated throughout the state, the Senior Citizens Employment Program. Uh, various different agencies operate that. Um, for instance, in the Bluegrass area, the Northern Kentucky Community Action uh, operates in part of our area and then Goodwill operates that program in, in our area. And it is a targeted program for individuals um, looking for employment um, in their in their later years. So that's a program that does exist. Depending on what county you're in, um, you can find that information. Looks like Krista just put some information in the chat box as well, but it is a targeted program to help seniors uh, get back to work. Uh, we have placements at our offices. I know they place people throughout um, the area, but Jennifer, if you wanna hop in, I think it's a great opportunity for you to talk about that too. Oh, yes, absolutely. Actually, um, that that program uh, manager reports to me. I don't know how I got lucky enough to, to be able to work with Sonia Johnson. Um, we cover a, a really large footprint, probably one of the largest uh, senior community service employment program um, footprints in the state. And um, she is the program manager. She's been with Goodwill quite some time, but, but has been with CSEP in other capacities and working with 55 plus for many, many years, even as a monitor, you know, at a, at a compliance level with CSEP. So we're so pleased to have Sonia in our leadership. We have four different career coaches and they are in different parts of the state. They have their own service area. So, you know, the biggest thing to remember about this, um, it is a, income-based program so they have to check income i wish it was it was a, a higher level but this is set by the federal government but the exciting thing is we have an opportunity to get someone in the program bring them to a work experience and they can work work at a host site agency and learn new skills and you know, learn computer skills because many times people will not have those kind of skills if they're in the 55 plus range it doesn't mean that's always the case but if someone hasn't worked a whole lot in their past you know, this is a chance for us to bring them to a, a place where they can have more skills to be a really good worker. We place people in our Goodwill stores as well as many other uh, host sites. But when they're ready, then we place them in uh, full-time permanent employment unsubsidized. So it's an exciting program to be a part of. I love it. And uh, thank you for bringing that up. Great question. Go to our website, goodwillky.org, to learn more about the CSET program that Goodwill operates. Jonathan, what about you? What advice do you have for our job seekers on the call? You know, Jennifer hit a lot of the a lot of the high points, but I would just just say just do your best to be persistent. Uh, you know, maximizing your resources, focusing on the things that you can control. Um, try not to let your confidence uh, take too big of a hit as you continue to apply for jobs, and and you just sometimes don't get those callbacks. But don't allow that to dictate how you move forward. Um, just remain optimistic and stay true to who you are and what you're trying to achieve and maximizing those resources. And so uh, I, I know that that for me, that's just kind of the, the thing I'll just kind of highlight, 
you know, because it, it can be, I can just think back about a time when I was looking for work and what that was like. You, know, you graduate from college or you, you get this certification and you, it almost feels like things should happen. You know, the door should open and that's not always the case. And so whether it's, you know, getting a certification or getting a degree and hoping those doors open or you're trying to um, assimilate back into the workforce um, after a setback or a disability, it's just doing your best not to let not to let that define that moment and try your best to continue to move forward. So uh, optimism at its most. Thank you. Lori, what about you? What do you want to add? I certainly have to echo the sentiments of Jonathan. I really feel as though if you're focused on your wellness and you are focused on making sure that you know that a rejection doesn't mean anything that is negative against you, and just keep pushing forward. And with that, I would like to also say, reaching out to your network, making sure people you know, who you trust, understand that you're looking for, for position, making sure that they know what type of position that you're looking for, just keep connecting with people, um, making sure you attend the job club and review your cover letters, all of them and your resumes, frequently, often, every time, because it's easy to make a mistake and you don't want a mistake to cause you not to get that interview that you are hoping for. I would also, while you're looking for full-time work, I would also consider staffing agencies so that you can make sure you have some revenue coming into your household while you are looking for maybe a more firm, full-time permanent role, as well as, of course, checking out the resources at your local library. Libraries are workforce partners. We have been probably since the inception of libraries. We are a trusted resource. We try to make sure that we are giving as much unbiased information as possible. Kentucky libraries are the best and I'm not just saying that, but Kentucky libraries are the best. And in fact, one of the things that we're hoping to do is to get as many Kentucky libraries to participate on National Library Week, which is the last week of April to host some type of career or job event to let people know that this is a place where you can come to get free job support and help. Thank you. I'll hop in, Lori, because you kind of left a great opening for me to jump in real quick. So um, Lori just mentioned the uh, National Library Week, and we are partnering with a lot of our local libraries here in our Bluegrass area. Um, you can find any job fairs that we're affiliated with, anything that we're helping out through our website, at CKY Careers. I put that in the chat earlier, but we're partnering with at least, I want to say five to six branches in our 17 counties that are participating in that library week to do a, either take home job fairs, in-person job fairs. Um, so any anything job fair wise that we're affiliated with, you can find on our website as well. Um, and I just want to kind of echo what everybody else has said as far as, you know, using your resources. Um, but, you know, the thing for us is we have to utilize all of our resources to you know provide these services. I'm happy to say that we partner with everybody that's on this call. We partner with Goodwill. We partner with the public library. OBR is one of our core partners. I mean, we couldn't do this work without our network of partners. And I would encourage you uh, to do the same thing. And, you know, a lot of these programs, some people are uh, have different feelings on getting involved with them and thinking maybe a handout. Think of it as a hand up. We're there to help everybody. And if we can't do it, we'll reach out to our partner organizations to help you find that help you need to give back uh, to employment. I think our goal here with all the panelists is, is the same as to help the citizens of Kentucky getting back to employment and, and enriching their lives and their families. So I think we're all here on the same page. Todd, we're all nodding with you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, from where I sit, I, I think I would just share at, for advice for the job seekers on the call. Your job search is unique. It's different from anyone else on the call. And what may work for someone else may, may not work for you. So don't be shy about taking advantage of the services that you need. There's lots of different types of services that you learned about today, and we're all on the same team. Uh, we may not be working in the same location, but ultimately we want you to be successful. So your success is our success. Um, it looks like we're caught up in the chat. So I just want to give a shout out to our panelists. Thank you so much for taking time to, to be on the call today to share information about your group. 
Um, feel free to give them some love in the chat box as we shift to our next part. Uh, but next, I'm going to shift over to Diana at the podium for Closing Up Job Club. Thanks, Amanda. And uh, thanks to Todd, Jonathan, Jennifer, Lori, and Amanda for presenting today about community resources. What a wealth of information. Um, I hope you'll check each and every one of them out. I hope you'll share this information with those that um, are in need. And we are so appreciative for those presentations and that information that was given today. So again, thanks to our panel. And um, now we'll move on to our session on employers. Do we have any employers in the audience or online that might want to share? A job lead. And let's see. Do we see any, Amanda? Hey, Diana, we do have one hand up. Krista Martin, I'm going to give you audio privileges now. Okay. Okay, you should be able to unmute. Can you hear me? I sure can. The floor is yours. Oh, my gosh. It's good to be back with Central Kentucky Job Club, y'all. I've missed y'all so much. <laughs> Um, so I want to thank the panelists as well. Lori, I think you're my new hero uh, there with the Lexington Public Libraries and excited to uh, get with you at some point um, and love partnering with Goodwill. Of course, our good friends and former colleagues at the Kentucky Office of Vocational Rehabilitation and uh, the Kentucky Career Centers. Todd, fantastic seeing you on here as well. Um, so I work uh, for a nonprofit uh, member association now called Direct Employers Association. And we are currently recruiting for a remote software developer, Java um, and C. I'm going to post the link in the chat. It's a really fantastic uh, opportunity for anybody that has, you know, they're looking for at least three years of experience in software development. Um, and again, it is it is remote. We're headquartered in Indianapolis um, as well. So I encourage you, or if you have anybody that's, you know, qualified candidates, encourage them to apply. I'm also going to share the link amongst all the other links that I shared today uh, for the ability site for the United States National Labor Exchange. We co-host that with the National Association of State Workforce Agencies. Um, so this is not an Indeed or a Monster or you know, your everyday job board. It's fully accessible. It's indexed and vetted on a daily basis. It uh, also uh, does not have scams, dead end links and ghost jobs that you may be familiar with with using things like Indeed and LinkedIn and other um, site. So this really is your trusted resource for searching for job opportunities, um, as well as internships and apprenticeships. So it's really cool. Um, it's a fantastic resource for, you know, job seekers and partners, um, you know, as well. So um, I'll drop my email in the chat too, if anybody's interested in, you know, in partnering with us and learning more about the stuff that we do with our employer members and other community partners. We love Goodwill, uh, you know, as well. And we do um, some special things for community uh, rehabilitation programs and providers and connecting them with uh, local job listings for the counties that they serve with our member employers as well. So, um, you know, just wanted to let you know that we're we're hiring and give you some more free resources and hopefully we'll have some great success stories at the next job club. Krista, thank you. And could you could you include that information to our job club at UK uh, y.edu address so we could get that in our newsletters? Yes, I should be able to do that. That would be great. Thank you so much. Any other? Okay, Amanda, we're gonna switch slides here. 
And now it's time to hear some news and program uh, information from our job club facilitators. And we'll begin with the Cooperative Extension Service, uh, office at all 120 states, <laughs> counties <laughs> within the state of Kentucky. And uh, be sure and check that out locally because there are so many wonderful spring programs that are being scheduled as I speak. So you will really benefit and enjoy each and every one of those. I do want to point out one from here at the Fayette County Extension Office. Uh, it's Kentucky Proud Evenings is coming back. And uh, on March the 23rd, this is March Madness, as you know. So this is so appropriate. Um, we're going to have Kevin Cook, an author of House of Champions, the story of Kentucky basketball's home courts. So if you're interested in knowing all about the, the importance, uh, the background information, and um, how the the home courts of Kentucky has played into the overall um, uh, success story of Kentucky basketball. Then you want to be here on March the 23rd. That's a Thursday. And um, the information will be at the Fayette County uh, Cooperative Extension at Fayette County. So just contact that office and um, you can register. It's free. And I know that's going to really coincide with our March Madness uh, craziness that, that is always existed in Kentucky. We have some news from Nicole Waite, who is our extension special, or is our uh, employment specialist, temporary employment specialist from UK Steps. And she cannot uh, be with us today, but she has set three positions that I'll share with you very quickly. One is an administrative support associate in career employment. Another is the HR, Informatics Reporting Specialist. This is part-time and it is also remote. And finally, she has an Administrative Support Associate with UK Healthcare. So all of these can be found at jobclubs.uky.edu slash postings. And there are particular numbers for each one of those. So you will want to go to the website at uh, that's on your screen, which is uh, um, with the UK STEPS program. And we will also have these posted in our email that's uh, newsletter that's coming later on this afternoon. We've already heard from UK Alumni Career Services. We thank Amanda for that overview today and just be sure and reach out to them um, if, if you are interested in their services. Next time at Job Club. This is going to be by Nicole Wade, again, our HR employment specialist at UK, and uh, it's Job Applications 101. And, you know, the, it's one thing to have that, that application filled out, to have that great resume and um, our cover letter, but if it doesn't succeed with the tracking system, then what, you know, what good is it going to do you? So Nicole is going to give some great information, um, some assistance on how you can make the most of getting that application to the right person so that you can be at the top of that pile and get a look. So we will look forward to Nicole Waite's presentation on March the 28th. And until then, on behalf of the UK Cooperative Extension Service, UK Alumni Association, and UK Human Resources, we thank you for joining us today. We thank all of our panelists for sharing. Uh, we hope that you'll reach out to them. And uh, until next time, have a great two weeks in your job search.